We hear a lot about how artificial intelligence and machine learning are going to change the world and how the Internet of Things will make everyone's life easier. But what's the one thing that underpins all of these revolutionary technologies? The answer is data. From social media to the IoT devices, we're generating immeasurable amount of data. Consider the cab service provider Uber. I'm sure all of you have used Uber. What do you think makes Uber a multi-billion dollar worth company? Is it their availability of cabs or is it their service? Well, the answer is data. Data makes them very rich. But wait, is data enough to grow a business? Of course it isn't. You must know how to use the data to draw useful insights and solve problems. This is where data science comes in. In simple words, data science is the process of using data to find solutions or to predict outcomes for a problem statement. To better understand data science, let's see how it affects our day-to-day -day activities. Data science is at the heart of Uber's pricing algorithm. The search pricing algorithm ensures that their passengers always get a ride when they need one, even if it comes at the cost of inflated prices. Uber implements data science to find out which neighborhoods will be the busiest so that it can activate search pricing to get more drivers on the road. In this manner, Uber maximizes the number of rides it can provide and hence benefit from this. Uber's search pricing algorithm uses data science. Let's see how. A data science process always begins with understanding the business requirement or the problem you're trying to solve. In this case, the business requirement is to build a dynamic pricing model that takes effect when a lot of people in the same area are requesting rides at the same time. This is followed by data collection. Uber collects data such as the weather, historical data, holidays, time, traffic, pickup and drop location, and it keeps a track of all of this. The next stage is data cleaning. While well, sometimes unnecessary data is collected, such data only increases the complexity of the problem. An example is Uber might collect information like the location of restaurants and cafes nearby. Now, such data is not needed to analyze Uber's surge pricing. Therefore, such data has to be removed at this step. Data cleaning is followed by data exploration and analysis. The data exploration stage is like the brainstorming of data analysis. This is where you understand the patterns in your data. This is followed by data modeling. The data modeling stage basically includes building a machine learning model that predicts the Uber surge at a given time and location. This model is built by using all the insights and trends collected in the exploration stage. The model is trained by feeding it thousands of customer records so that it can learn to predict the outcome more precisely. Next is the data validation stage. Now here the model is tested when a new customer books a ride. The data of the new booking is compared with the historic data in order to check if there are any anomalies in the surge prices or any false predictions. If any such anomalies are detected, a notification is immediately sent to the data scientists at Uber who fix the issue. This is how Uber predicts the surge price for a given location and time. The final stage of data science is deployment and optimization. So after testing the model and improving its efficiency, it is deployed on all the users. At this stage, customer feedback is received and if there are any issues, they are fixed here. So that was the entire data science process. Now let's look at a few other applications of data science. Data science is implemented in e-commerce platforms like Amazon and Flipkart. It is also the logic behind Netflix's recommendation system. Now in all actuality, data science has made remarkable changes in today's market. Its applications range from credit card fraud detection to self-driving cars and virtual assistants such as Siri and Alexa. Let's consider an example. Suppose you look for shoes on Amazon, but you do not buy it then and there. Now the next day you're watching videos on YouTube and suddenly you see an ad for the same item. You switch to Facebook, there also you see the same ad. So how does this happen? Well, this happens because Google tracks your search history and recommends ads based on your search history. This is one of the coolest applications of data science. In fact, 35% of Amazon's revenue is generated by product recommendation. And the logic behind product recommendation is data science. That's all from my side, guys. If you wish to learn more about such trending technologies, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Until next time, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. 
Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!